time now for another adventure with the Lone Ranger. As we open, we see the Lone Ranger and Tanto at camp. Come on, Tanto, we're going into town. Oh, man, I don't want to go to town, man. Why not, faithful friend? You know why not, man. Every time I go to town, they beat me up. I noticed. I wonder why they do that. I don't know, man. I'm just minding my own business and they come over and beat me up. Is it because of something you did? I don't know. Uh, maybe you looked at somebody wrong or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe your horse looks funny. What's wrong with my horse, man? Oh, I bet I know what it is. What, man? You haven't taken your portfolio over to David Ernest. Well, you know, I've been meaning to, man. I, I just haven't had the time. Well, when we get into town, first thing, we'll take your portfolio right there to David Ernest. Oh, okay, man. Or you can call him at 334-279-7431. Yeah, I think we pass a phone booth on the way there, man. Then when you get your portfolio all taken care of, the boys will like you. Boys? Why do I want the boys to like me? Well, so they won't beat you up. It's not the boys, man. It's the girls. What? Yeah, they're tough. You know, last time we were in town in the saloon, I saw one boy that liked you. Shut up, Kimosabi. You ain't funny, man. Last one in the town buys the drinks. That ain't fair, man. You got a head start. Tune in again next time for another great adventure with the Lone Ranger. <laughs> the dating game will not be seen tonight. Instead, we bring you this quality program. No, that, that's not it. That's it. It's the Health and Wealth Show with David Ernest. Sit right back for the next 28 minutes and 45 seconds, and here's some good news about your money. Now here he is, the white-haired wonder himself, it's David Ernest. What that, Kimosabe? Horse chasing portfolio thief. Horse sound like roach bug. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> I'm looking at us in the thing and I got a feather on my head. Yes, this is the Lone Arranger Show. I look more like a balding eagle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and this is more of your portfolio being arranged uh, type of show. Uh, we're. We're doing a parody with the Lone Ranger. Uh huh. Yes. Yes, we Can did. Can you tell? And the Lone oh, Ranger, which was kind of stupid anyway, because he had Tonto with him. He was not alone. No. He was the almost alone Ranger, but he was not. You know, that's interesting. You don't really want to be alone in your portfolio. No, no. You want somebody there looking after it. Yes. Right? You don't want to be someone. That's alone doing the arrangements of your portfolio? No, 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 no. You need somebody like David Ernest. That's me. That's this guy right I here. I promise you I don't always look like this. Yes, he does. He he walks around, <laughs> you know, and he's like, what was that guy on the uh, Dukes of Hazard? Yeah. Yeah, he walks around with a cigar and, and, oh, and just, man. you know, going everywhere. And yeah. everybody says, he looks important. Well, you know, at least I'm not impotent yet. There you go. <laughs> Two seven nine seven four three one. That's David Ernest's phone, uh, phone number. You can call him and uh, get him to look at your portfolio right, and uh, right. make sure that uh, it is not being uh, pilfered by bandits or or uh, rustlers or something like that. You know, there's a lot of things, Rusty, that can be done or go on inside your portfolio mm -hmm. that can be fixed. That's going on that's wrong, like all these roach bugs get in there. Mm -hmm. All these uh, thievery uh, folks get in there. Yeah. Uh, look at Madoff. Bertie Madoff. He made off with everything. He stole every. You know, he stole over a billion dollars. Now, I mean, how did that happen? How did the government? You say the government's protecting me. He was part of the government. Did you know that? I he knew was that. like part, He was in the regulatory people but that were doing this the, stuff. The thing is, I mean, you steal four or five million. Eh, yeah. Okay. Over a billion? That's just wrong. Yes. It's kind of bad. <laughs> as, as, and it's really uh, sad as, that uh, it can happen. As some folks would say, that heap much wampum. He what? Heap much wampum. Wampum? That's what uh, Native Americans used to call money. Uh, 
Oh, 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 oh mm-hmm. yes. Uh, I thought you were saying something else. Do you know why the uh, the uh, chief had his uh, hat on? Why is that? To keep his wigwam <laughs> because it was cold. <laughs> and he. <sighs> well, you want to keep your hat on your portfolio too. Yes, you do. You yes. want to keep it in a safe place. You want to keep it cool when it needs to be cool. You need uh-huh. to be a little warmer when it needs to be warm. And uh, you know, so- sometimes let's say the stock market is going down. Uh huh. That's cooling off. You want to be a little warmer then. Okay. Right. Uh, say it's overheating and it could drop because of overheating. You want to cool it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do is you want to be in the uh, climate-controlled portfolio. Yes. It's what you want. Yes. You call David Ernest at 279-7431. He will give your portfolio the TLC it so deserves. Yes, that's right, folks. The tender, loving care that your portfolio deserves because someday... If you take care of that portfolio, it's going to take care of you. And this is just the man to set that up for you. 279-7431. And let's see, you've got that website, retirewithernest.com. Dot com. Yes. Uh, on the uh, Facebook there. What is it? It's uh, Health, Health and Wealth, Wealth with David, David Ernest. Ernest. Yes. And, of course, over on the, uh, what do you call it? YouTube. Yeah. My, my mind is... And, and it just got dim in here. But my mind... <laughs> That's not your brain. You're on the f- uh, the YouTube. I'll get it out in a minute. Yeah. A bunch of uh, older stuff and right. some, of the, some, the, some of the TV shows yeah. are over there already. Yeah. And uh, all you got to do, go check it out. It's all free. That's right. Free, 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 free. free. But free. it's not 333-333. You no. got to call me at... Two seven nine seven four three one. That's right. Yes, and uh, I don't have a parody for that one. Uh, we'll find one. Two seven nine seven four three one. Yes, mm-hmm. the song. Yes, mm-hmm. I was uh, working at Y one hundred two, and you know sometimes when you're doing a radio commercial, mm. TV, you can put the the thing up there, and somebody can look at it, and they'll more likely remember it. Right. Radio, it goes by so fast, sometimes you miss it. Uh, unless you're spelling out something like uh, uh, 1-800-SIDING. You know, you're selling aluminum siding, 1-800-SIDING. You could remember that. Yeah. I had this guy one time, and he had a had a, a phone number he wanted in there, and we were talking about it. I said, you know, unless you really just got something memorable, it just kind of takes away from it to put the phone number. Right. Well, he wanted that phone number in there. Oh, yeah. He went home. And he sat down and thought about it, and he came in, and he wanted to record this. And we did it, me and him doing it. And it had uh, like a whole 60 seconds of us going, uh, like his phone number, 2797431. It's 2797431. And this was the whole commercial with him, oh, with him, good. with him, cool. with him talking. Hey, we over. can do that. Well, it's been done. <laughs> but we could do, do it again. It. Yeah, it's been a while. I yes. think uh, I think uh, yeah. I think he's out of business now. But not because of that. But that's that's something though you got to think about when something's catchy, when something kind of grabs your attention. Yeah, uh, you remember it. Yeah, and I think I think we do that because you got. You, uh, we, do you not think we look kind of different here? You got me wearing. Uh, 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 well, we're trying to we're trying to get people's attention, and the thing is, you need to be aware mm-hmm. that your portfolio could be being chased by a bear, okay? Yeah. And uh, that bear needs to be, you need to be rescued from that bear. You know, there's this old song about this preacher. He gets Mm -hmm. up in the... In a in a in a tree. It's he went, old. It's back in the twenties. He, uh, he went uh, hunting on a Sunday morning. Yeah, on a church. Sunday morning, and, and uh, then the bear chased him up the tree, and he's on a limb, and the limb is breaking, and he's, yeah, yeah, he's praying yeah. that God will uh, help him and not the bear. Yeah, that's right. He said, "Lord, if you can't help me, please don't help that bear." So yes. here's the thing: you need to make sure that that bear does not get a hold of your picnic basket, because if it does, I mean, people say, "Well." Trump's in control. Well, he, he's he's there, and he's helping as much as he can to keep off that bear, okay? But the thing is, you need a loan arranger. You need someone who can arrange everything and make sure that everything don't go away, and you need Tonto to help save the day. Uh, it's a teamwork thing, okay? In other words, you, you your, your portfolio is not always in a good place. It can be in a bad place, believe it, it or not. You, things can go wrong, okay? And if they do, you 
are is it may not be like it is on TV where the Lone Ranger is there ready to save the day. The Lone Ranger has to be av available. He has to be there close by. He needs to know you exist. He you need to be like a friend of his, a client of his or or something so you can be taken care of. So that's what I'm trying to say is if if you I'm a, I'm an asset preservationist. Yes. It's what I am. Okay? And I like to think of Maya as being like a, you know, someone who helps save portfolios and save families and save things from happening. There's, there's all kinds of things that can happen to your family, to you, and to your situation. Do you think for one minute that Social Security is going to pay for everything you need? I would say probably not. They and, keep talking about it. And do you think for a minute that we could do this without taking a break? Because we've got no, to take a short break. No, I no. hate, I hate this, to derail this, this, you there, Kimo Sadi. You know what? You know, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate, I appreciate the reminder. That's what you, you're good. You're yes. good at reminding me of my things I need to do. You we'll know? be back after this short break with more health and wealth with Kimo uh, David Ernest. And welcome back to our health and wealth show. We're on TV and radio. How about that? And where the heck did those people that were on here earlier go? I don't know. I don't know. They they went that away, perhaps. I don't know. But uh, we're here they now. Went over the prairie. But uh, we're here now. And, yes, we're uh, here now. If you need some help with your financial situation, as far as your uh, 401k and your IRA, and you're wondering, is this really doing me the best that it could be it could be done for me? Well, call David Ernest two seven nine seven four three one. He can tell you all sorts of things that you probably don't know. If you're if you're just you know like a, a working stiff you know average Joe guy, you probably don't know all this uh, financial thing that uh, David does. He's been doing this for over thirty years. Yes, and he knows his business, and his business is helping folks like you with your business. Two seven nine seven four three one. Call him today. What I am is I'm a little bit different than a lot of the financial people. Mm -hmm. You notice this already, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, the thing is, I'm trying to get your attention, okay? That's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get your attention and let you know that there's things that are different that can be done about your dough, okay? And if you're in the know about what can be done about your dough, you're going to keep more of it, okay? That's the point. There are villains out there. Bad people. Bad people what out there. What does our president say? Uh, bad actors. Very bad, bad actors. Very, very bad, bad actors. actors. Yes. And they're part of the government. They even work for the government, some of them. Uh -huh. uh, well, probably a lot of them. You're not going to name names, are you? No, I'm not uh, naming names to protect want, the innocent. Don't want no black helicopters at my no, house late at night. Really. But anyway, you guys know exactly probably what I'm trying to say, and that is... Your portfolio is completely at the mercy of regulations and laws and things that you don't know, okay? Now, there's a lot of things that we do know that could happen. Uh, you could have a Bernie Madoff that makes off with your money. That's mm -hmm. number one. That's a bad one because, yes. you know what, most of those people didn't get all their money back. Most no. of them lost no. Lots of money, okay? Millions. And the government didn't refund it. Did you know that? I knew that. They did not say, oh, we feel sorry for you because we let Bertie Madoff do all this stuff and we let Bertie Madoff run off with uh -huh. your money. Did uh, did he get life in prison or or did he just get like some just a short sentence or what? I think he got something almost like life. But, I don't think uh, he's ever going to get out well, of it. He's he older, get killed. older gentleman, though, so he might not make it. Really. I don't know, but he deserves to stay in there. I can tell you that. That's my opinion. He, he needs to stay in mm -hmm. there. He caused all kinds of trouble. He caused his sons to ha have problems. They, I think both of them I suicide. believe you're right. His wife divorced him. Uh, look, in the end, bad actors don't act out really well in the end. It, what you don't want is you don't want in the end for bad acting to act out for your portfolio, for your retirement. You want all these protections in there. There's things, if you're just dealing with a regular ABC situation, uh, and that is just you're just trying to get your money to grow. Right. Okay. That's oh, Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Your money's got to grow, right? Okay, it needs to grow. If it doesn't grow, it doesn't mature into retirement time. It doesn't get bigger. It, you know, if you stay a baby the rest of your life, you, you just don't really get there, you know? There you go. You don't want your portfolio to stay a baby. We know this, okay? But as you age, 
the human body, I'm going to compare it to this with the human body, it has problems sometimes. Sometimes th that person will get sick. If, if you get a shot of insulin, I mean, of, of, of our, our, our antibiotic, let's say you get sick. Mm -hmm. And back in the olden days, you probably could have, would have died from it. They give you an antibiotic, and it saves your life. Well, you know, uh, our first president, yes. you know, he was sick, and uh -huh. you know he died. But you know what he died from? Uh, what? They actually uh, were practicing bleeding. Oh, yeah. At the yeah. time, they put leeches on him. Yeah. And they figured if he had, they figured he had too much blood. Yeah. Or what he had was bad, so they bled him. And that's that's. Yeah. They, well, they, you can have too much blood. Didn't help and, him. <laughs> and that's called polycythemia varia. For any of you uh, people who want to go look it up, I went. Well, to school, I got a medical uh, background. Okay. I went to school with her. Polycythemia. Polycythemia, yeah. The Man, polycythemia I don't know. family that lived there. No, you don't want that one. They lived near oh, the no. schoolhouse. So, but there really isn't a, a problem with having too much money, okay? The problem is having too much risk on your money. Right. And if you want to call that polycythemia take away mm -hmm. or whatever you want to call it, uh, the, the thing is there's this risk. So what you need, let's say that uh, something goes wrong and the stock market drops or something bad happens. Let's say uh, let's say you get sick, okay? Okay. And you didn't have enough time for the portfolio to build up, right? Okay. You need to get a shot to get you well. In the case of your portfolio, it's a shot of money. Mm -hmm. You get a shot of income, okay? You get a big bonus, a big bolus, a bolus shot. Uh, in the medical uh, arena, they say, give them a bolus of so-and-so. That means give them a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. So what they're going to do is give you a lot of money. It's built into the program. It's built in with insurance companies that, boom, here comes this money, and it saves the day. And you're going, and then you got a guy over here in the other portfolio. He said, I'm sick. My, my, my portfolio went down, and I really need some money, but i got to wait 10 years or five years for it to come back. It looks like we're in a recession or maybe almost a depression. And I'm sick. I really am sick. I'm, I'm physically sick. I need to go to the hospital, and I just don't have the money. If he had been in another portfolio, one that can grow with the market too, maybe not as quite as fast as, as the market when it goes up, but it, at least it grows really good with the market, he would get the bolus potentially. He would get the saving potentially. He would be pulled up out of the drowning waters raging to s destroy his life and his family. That's the kind of stuff you need. You and need that kind of stuff. if your portfolio needs a shot in the arm, yes. well, call old Dr. Dave over here, 279-7431. He will get that. Th he'll even tap it so there won't be any bubbles in it. You yeah, know? you don't yeah. want bubbles. You don't they're they're want not good for that's you. That's not good for you. Not flowing around in your heart. 279-7431. No call David Ernest. And just uh, take, a, take a few minutes to sit down with him. won't cost you anything, and you might get free lunch. You just might. Yeah, 279-7431, and we will be back in just mere moments with more Health and Wealth with David Ernest. Is your money working for you? Would you like higher returns with lower risks? David Ernest of Ernest Financial Retirement Rollovers has custom-tailored strategies. With over 30 years in the industry, let him help you achieve your dreams. Ernest Financial, where they are always earnest about your money. Visit retirewithearnest.com or call 279-7431. That's 279-7431. Ernest Financial. And welcome back to another Health and Wealth Show. I'm David Ernest, and this is, uh, where's the feather? We we got rid of that a while ago. Oh, that, that had to, you're rusty again. That, that had to go back to the home <laughs> for the bald eagles. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. You know, I saw a bald eagle with a comb over the other day. I was like, give it up, man. Come on. <laughs> it it up. It's no hope for you. <laughs> just, 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 yeah, just, just let it go, Wishful man. thinking. Yeah. That's, and that's what happens when your portfolio looks really bad and you're like 70 years old. I mean, uh -huh. man, it's just probably a little bit too late for it you. It could I mean, be, but you know. <laughs> If you're a little bit younger, say, oh, I don't know, 35 to 40. And I've been meaning to ask you this. Yeah. Somebody said, I saw one of these commercials for uh, another uh, financial uh, entity. Okay. And they said, you probably need a good 18 to 20 years to let your portfolio start accruing th things with, with a program like you do. Yeah. So if you're probably, what, 
30, 35, it's a good time to get in and well, start getting things together. Or is, yeah, it, is, well, that, is that erroneous? Uh, yes and no. Ah. Okay, you, you brought up something I've got to explain. Ah. When you're younger, yeah. you can take more risk, mm -hmm. Okay, which can make more money. Because if you get a, do get a setback, then you can come out yes, of it. Yes, time and, is on your side. And that's what we recommend, okay? Mm -hmm. The 401ks that, uh, you know, will uh, put in money and, and in other words, match. Those are, those are something you don't want to pass up. Mm -hmm. But there's some things that, and I was reading a tel, uh, an article in a, in a financial magazine yesterday. And it said, where do young people need to really be looking at you see, the 401ks are on the radar. Mm -hmm. The IRAs that are not Roth, they're on radar right. for taxes. They're going to be very taxing. So there are some things that you can do using the stock market in a safe mode way that still will project making, you know, 7, 8, 9% returns, which is not anything to laugh at. No. But when you take the money out, you don't pay any taxes if you put it together. It is insurance product, okay? Now, you've got the Roth IRAs, but see, you're limited. Roth IRAs are only going to let you put up to $5,000 a year. And if something goes wrong, the Roth IRA is not going to self-complete. Mm -hmm. So here's a unique way of doing things. If you've got a 401, you can sit down with me. We can go over it. Uh, if you've got a 401k, you know, um, we, you should use that, especially if they're if they are uh, donating money to you. Okay? Right. If they're not donating money to you, maybe you'd rather do something else, mm -hmm. okay, like a Roth IRA. But you really need to look at doing maybe a 401k Roth. Those are even better, especially if they're matching the money. But in addition to that, you need something that will self-complete, you know, you, your portfolio, your 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 family's protection, and that's using insurance. But, you know, I looked at one the other day, and I just talked to the gentleman on the phone. He's like, um, I had one is 34 and one is 37. Both of them were similar. Uh, they were going to put in about $3,000 a year into this program, okay? Yeah. Okay. It's an insurance program, okay? But essentially, they will pull out, based on the illustration, uh, somewhere around you know, two or three million dollars based on what it makes. Tax free though. And then when they kick the bucket or if they get sick in between, there may be another million dollars of benefit. Uh, so what I'm talking about is two or three million dollars and they only put in like 60 or $80,000 in the whole lifetime of the program, but they get back that kind of money on a projection. So young people, what that can do for you is that can protect you from social security taxis in the future. There's going to be something in the future probably that's going to be called means testing. Means testing means if you got the money, they're going to take it. Means, M-E-A-N-S. It means that if you get means tested in the future, and I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive that's the way they're going to do it yeah. because that's the way the socialistic system works, okay? And I do believe we'll be in a socialistic system in the, in the, in the long run. I'm sorry, guys. It's going to happen in my opinion, okay? And if it is, you want something that's not means looked at, uh, meaning you, they don't see it, meaning it's legal that you can take the money out and it doesn't even show up, meaning that the government does not tax it, meaning that if you get it, it's tax-free. But if it also something goes wrong, it means that you'll get this big shot, this big bolus of money mm -hmm. tax-free to help you get a loan. In other words, if something happens, let's say you had a heart attack, big bolus of money. Let's say you get cancer, big bolus of money. Let's say you become so disabled you can't work and it's, it pulls what we call an ADL or something. Probably big boluses of money. I'm talking about insuring your retirement. Do you think for one minute the Social Security is going to insure you a million or two million or three million dollars? I kind of doubt it. No, they're going to give you, if you, if you quit working early, you're going to say, a check equivalent to six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month, and it's going to be taxed too. Mm -hmm. You know, if you work a long time, you might get you know fifteen hundred, two thousand, or twenty five hundred dollars a month. You know, I think the maximum will give you know up to around twenty five hundred or I maybe think, three think thousand, you're right, somewhere yeah. in there. Okay, that's not going to get it. That's not going to get it. It's not going to get, especially if it's you know taxed again, which it probably will be because it's going to show up. You want something like, okay, Roth 401ks, they don't show up. Uh, Roth uh, IRAs, they're not supposed to show up. 
you know, not many people do them. You know, that's the problem. The government, they say, oh, the government's doing a favor for it. The government knows that not many people are going to do the 401k. Now, I mean, the 401 Roth, they, you'll do a regular 401k, you mm -hmm. know, most of the time. You'll do a regular IRA most of the time. Guess what? When you're 70 and a half, you got to start giving them a lot of dough, okay, I, I, right now, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, that's called an RMD, Required Minimum Distribution, okay? You don't want to have to pay RMDs if you don't want to. And if you do take money out, you don't want to have to pay taxes on what you take out. Because why? If it's means tested in the future, meaning if they, meaning if they see it, they're going to say, well, they've got enough. Let's just take some of that. Why? Well, we got to give it over here. These people are voting for us over here. Let's give it to them. There you go. So you don't want that, okay? So how do you do, how do you fix that young people? How do you fix that older people? You call somebody like me and I show you. I show you how to fix it now. It's like, you know, the answers are here. They're right here. They're right here today. All you've got to know is how to do it today to fix it for tomorrow or whatever is going to happen to you. It's going to be, we can fix it. Now, that in addition to whatever else you're saving, but just be aware that these other monies that don't show up, I mean, excuse me, that will show up, they're probably going to take some of that or a lot of that or maybe even all of that away. So you need to fix all that today. Now, speaking of today and tomorrow, which we did mention here, I think I've asked you this before. You know who yeah. Douglas Adams is? Yeah. Douglas Adams is an author. He's passed away, I think. But he, yeah. wrote, he yeah. wrote several good books. One of them was Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've heard of it. Too. And there's several others in the series. And, I mean, it's some, it's some wide open. It's funny science mm -hmm. fiction. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's real smart. And uh, they have one called The Restaurant at the End of the Universe. The Restaurant. And you go to this restaurant and you watch – through this time bubble, you watch the universe destruct itself. It blows up. Yeah. Well, what you have to do, because it's so expensive, you have to go back to the beginning of time and put mm. a penny into an account, yeah. and it will accrue money up until this time, and there's the money that you pay for, oh, your, uh, pay for your food with. Well, we don't have that technology yet. We do have... Two seven nine seven four three one. If you're getting ready to go to that restaurant at the end of the universe, or if you're just getting ready to get, you know, retired and go fishing, you need to call David Ernest at two seven nine seven four three one. That's two seven nine seven four three one. And David, we've got to go. Where are we going? I don't know. Probably to that restaurant at the end oh, of the universe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I need to take a restroom break. That's what I need to do. Uh, well, you go rest and uh, we'll, we'll go. <laughs> okay. And you don't uh, you don't rest uh, till you pick up that phone and call David, 279-7431. You need this information. Yes, you do. It's important. And he's got it. We'll see you next time on Health and Wealth with David Ernest. All matters discussed during the show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives prior to implementation.